Hi guys, welcome to Nothing Geek TV and today I got uh, Honor 4X smartphone pushed against Infocus M330 uh, smartphone. Both are 5.5 inch devices uh, and more or less specs are same and the price too. So a comparison uh, uh, was asked by uh, several users and today I'm bringing it out for you. So, uh, so uh, for starters, uh, with phone support, uh, gesture features, double tap to unlock. Uh, so guys, uh, both the phones got a 5.5 inch display. Uh, the buttons on the Infocus M2 are backlit, while uh, these are non-backlit silver colored buttons uh, on um, the Honor 4X smartphone. Uh, uh, the width, uh, as you can see, it's more or less similar. The bezel, uh, side bezel, uh, the fit, uh, the side bezel on the uh, Infocus smartphone is metallic, while it's a complete plastic thing on the Honor 4X. Overall, guys, both the phones got plastic back plates, which are removed, which is removable. And uh, let me remove it for you. and uh, the battery on the infocus it, it's a, a 3100 mh battery which is non-removable and in honor 4x i got a 3000 mh battery which is again it's a sealed battery and it's it's non-removable so i got a plastic back plate on both the phones uh, it's bendable and uh, uh, there is slot for two sim cards on both the phones and one micro sd card can be inserted so guys as far as battery backup is concerned uh, with the moderate usage you will easily last one and a 1.25 days and with uh, light usage it will extend to one and a half days uh, with heavy usage one day is easily uh, passed uh, that's not a problem in these two phones Coming to the performance now guys, I ran into benchmark on both these handsets and let's see what the benchmark uh, score has, uh, benchmark has to say. So uh, on the Honor 4X, I uh, get a score of 21,410 and on uh, the Infocus, it's a better score, 33122. Uh, that's differences because of the processor and as you can see uh, the Infocus is ranked uh, above HTC One Redmi Note but uh, the Honor 4X is ranked below the heap. Now let me uh, show you a few specs uh, in both the phones. So as you can see on 4x is running on a better version it's 4.4.4 kicked at it 4.4.2 on uh, in focus this is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 4110 processor it's a quad core processor it's eight core processor on in focus that's uh, why there's the difference uh, the camera is a 13 megapixel rear on both the phones 2 GB uh, RAM on uh, both the phones a 64 bit uh, so honor of uh, 4x got a 64 bit CPU uh, while that is not the case if we got a 32 bit CPU uh, in uh, in focus m2 smartphone uh, let me show you the multi-touch on both these handsets 320 dpi is the screen resolution 5 point i got 10 point multi-touch on on a 4x which is really awesome while uh, 5 is more than enough i say for 95 percent of apps and games I got a 5 megapixel front facing camera in on 4x uh, whereas it's a 8 megapixel front uh, in this phone let me show you the sensor supported on both the phones so both the phones support direction G sensor acceleration sensor light sensor e compass proximity sensor gyro sensor linear acceleration and uh, rotation vector sensors so the sensors are pretty much similar so guys overall what these benchmarks mean to you now as a regular user both uh, the phones will give you good multitasking you will open multiple tabs in uh, in the chrome or the stock uh, browser uh, browser which is inbuilt by the uh, manufacturer and uh, 
apart from that uh, you can run facebook whatsapp and other apps as well easily when it comes to gaming both the phones can run uh, light to moderate games and heavy games can be run at low graphics settings at high graphics settings or medium graphics settings there are frame rate drops obviously uh, this phone is a little bit faster but difference is not much significant and you can feel that while uh, using the phone uh, and operating things uh, good enough on both the firms so performance wise they are pretty much similar and so is the design and build wise the battery uh, too is similar let's move on to the camera aspect now i click a uh, few images uh, which uh, will uh, show you the clear difference in both the smartphones the images have been clicked in uh, similar conditions uh, the lights are similar in uh, both So I have a 13 megapixel camera in both the phones. Uh, let me zoom in uh, the stuff for you. So things are pretty much good in the info uh, on a 4x. Let me zoom the stuff for you in the in focus. So guys, hopefully you can see the stuff. The image uh, which has come out it's much better and much clearer in the case of uh, in focus so uh, the 13 megapixel camera of uh, uh, in focus is much better than uh, the rear camera of the honor 4x you can see the difference clearly the cracks on the scene and things over here the difference is pretty clear but uh, let me move on to the front facing camera and uh, i got uh, uh, the image is uh, pretty similar when it comes to the front facing camera both the phones do a decent job and uh, uh, the difference is not a significant difference so i won't be deducting any marks uh, when it comes to the front facing camera uh, so guys in terms of camera in focus is slightly better so we covered a lot of points today uh, both the phones now one another uh, thing i would like to show you is that uh, in focus uh, apps are movable to sd in both the phones and in focus also supports otg which is not the case with honor 4x smartphone now we covered a lot of ground in both the phones uh, as far as design and display is concerned uh, both the phones are plastic and the build quality is pretty much similar but uh, in terms of design I'll give some extra marks to Honor 4X since the back plate is it's a bit mash, uh, matte finish and it doesn't feel that cheap as cheap as in focus uh, coming uh, to the UI the UI is uh, nice on both the phones the display is nice on both the phones uh, talking about the camera camera quality of in focus is slightly better the battery front both the phones uh, are is quite similar but uh, when it comes to performance again in focus will give you just slight edge but then it's a 64 bit processor on on 4x which actually means that uh, you will be getting much uh, uh, future apps uh, will uh, do uh, current and future apps pro uh, possess uh, you know 64 bit graphics so uh, the 64 bit uh, cpu will be able to process graphics in a much better and a realistic manner than uh, what a 32 bit can do so both the phones are great and uh, the rear camera of honor 4x is better than uh, sorry the rear camera of infocus is better than the honor 4x smartphone uh, hopefully uh, the video might have cleared uh, most of your doubt uh, on which phone you want to opt for if you are any queries uh, uh, you can use the comment section below i'll reply to them personally and thanks for watching the video kindly uh, hit the subscribe button over here and uh, have a great day